The goal of Beyond Visual Range BVR, air to air combat is to kill the enemy at long range before he can harm you. For that purpose we need Beyond Visual Range missiles. Astra is the very first air to air missile to be designed and developed in India. The seeker is not Indian, but pretty much most of all the other building blocks are Indian. The Indian engineers and scientists, as one can imagine, had to go through a very steep learning curve to bring the Astra missile to fruition. So the missile's capabilities might seem like a mirror of some of the existing missiles. A lot of critical technologies related to propulsion, guidance and control surface actuation were perfected. As a result, India will soon have a home-cooked BVR munition at a steep discount and custom-made to the Air Force's requirements, replacing for the R-77. It is an active radar homing beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, BVRAAM. Astra is designed to be capable of engaging targets at varying range and altitudes allowing for engagement of both short-range targets, up to 20 km, and long-range targets, up to 80 km, using alternative propulsion modes. The missile, which had failed during earlier trials, can be fitted on an entire range of combat jets under operation in the IAF and also soon to be inducted Tejas light combat aircraft. On the other side, the Meteor is in a completely different league. MBDA has built a worthy missile befitting its long and illustrious legacy of building precision-guided munitions. Meteor offers a multi-shot capability against long-range maneuvering targets in a heavy electronic countermeasures ECM environment with range in excess of 100 km. The biggest showpiece technology on the Meteor is the miniature solid-fueled ramjet engine. A ramjet-propelled missile has sustained and throttleable thrust under its disposal longer than the standard solid rocket motor propelled missile. Every other missile in the market with a standard solid rocket motor has a burn time which provides the missile all the thrust it would possibly need to reach its target. After this initial burn, the missile bleeds energy as it heads to the target. The missile bleeds energy more rapidly if it has to turn hard. If the target starts maneuvering hard, or turns tail and makes a run for it, there is a chance the missile will fall short of its target. With a throttleable ramjet, the missile can throttle down the thrust during the coasting phase and preserve some juice for the end game chase. Another option available for missile designers is to use a dual pulse rocket motor, similar to the rocket motor on the Barak 8, which kick starts a second rocket motor which provides thrust for the end game chase. India already has a working solid fueled ramjet engine in the Akash missile. Miniaturizing it to enough to fit on an air-to-air -air missile is the challenge. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and to press bell icon.